start streaming. We started streaming. The Yay. The stream has already begun, don't worry. Right. The shit show I'm gonna do my secret when I get home it's underway. Stuff, so. Oh yeah? But I'm like, oh, that's right. weird, because you're actually okay. first. Oh. Uh, sucker! Yeah, we, we already decided we would come up with what you wanted to ask. True. Oh, I just heard myself. Uh, it was a team effort, Emma. We yeah, were all here on time. I was definitely here on time. Alright, so, no you weren't. Don't lie. Yeah. We don't have music. Let's we'll see. Meet hallway. Meet hallway. <laughs> I think it's meet corridor. If I start playing endgame, you guys are going to be stressed out? No. Oh god. No, I don't think we're yes. fighting it. My, my Pavlov condition has not quite reached that status yet. Oh, but... So endgame isn't right. I mean, in order to oh, properly right. Pavlov... I need to play the hatchery. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please don't. Can you think about the hatchery? Please play the hatchery. Sounds like Please the don't. Pavlov is in action. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring up the hatch hatchery on my phone and play it. Where the fuck is... <laughs> Benjamin, I will hate you forever. You can just mute that. <laughs> it's not that bad. There was like a library one. Oh, well, I'll just find some... Mm, a burning the, village. You're, you're, you That's good. Yeah. Library. You're playing the library one white right now. If the background noise was any louder, someone would have to shush you. That's true. Where are all the bookcases? They're invisible. Oh. They're all just white. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm Here. blocky. If, you want to get really what confused? What about the books? Yeah. Um. There you go. Nice. Now it's what? very confusing. <laughs> Cause there's no... Are we floating now? No, oh, I actually like can't move. Like you can't use arrow keys to move. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. That is interesting. Yeah, you can move in less than five feet increments. Why don't you use that picture of a dragon? Oh. No. I like that one. Cause it actually has a mouth, so it can talk. Well, I like this one cause it's so True. simple. Like you. I'm gonna stand on top of Prospero. Okay, so, um. Standing underneath him. Prospero's. What the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> do we need a, Do we need me to read the notes as a recap, or do we no, remember what we happened it. two days ago? Let's do a recap. Oh. Two days ago, it's Wednesday. For the people at home. Yeah, Four yes. days. Ago. Okay. Don't read all the notes verbatim, please. Okay, I'll read most that, of them. That is exactly what you should never do. It doesn't matter what day it is or how many notes there are. to avoid that. <laughs> if you want to, you may. Yeah. Okay, Prospero finally learned where the other three places he has to go are. Who's that? We started traveling, had a whole day where we found a ruby, um, and we got rained on. Or rained over, rather. Um, we met a thing called Wingding. No, he was a guy. He was a fae. And Atticus made a bet with him and won a wand. But that's for a tune, too. Um, then we found a Bennu bird that um, Reynard tried to talk to and follow and failed. But we also got a diamond out of the deal. Um, and then we found this, uh, cool little temple-y type dealio where the chamber was anti-gravity and we fought skulls and we found some cool items, including a ye old draconic iPad. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, we also had a whole other day of traveling where we found, um, Mirage Oasis and got attacked by alligators. Um, found some giant cacti. Um, fought off some devils who had enslaved some people, then sent them into the desert to meet certain death. Um, then we, um, found a eerie cave filled with bones with a fox painted on the door. And then we found the library and played a game of chess and went through a whole bunch of puzzles. And now we're at the dragon and the dragon's like, information must be shared. And here we are. Indeed. 
And that is where we are. So, once again, you guys stand in a very grand library. All around you, there are things and stuff. But it seems empty. Things. Nice. It seems empty, except for this giant paper dragon in front of you that looks not anything like this, Just truly. Like my heart. <laughs> um, and it has, in fact, as you said, told you that you need to share something that you have never shared before, or something that no one knows about you, in order for you to be able to have completed his trials, essentially. Can we get a full description of the room we're in and the dragon? Uh, so basically, sure. Uh, basically, like I said, it's, it's a very, very large grand room. It's a very open... It looks almost like a like a castle or like a cathedral mixed with a library. There's very grand ceilings. There's art everywhere. There's statues, musical instruments, paintings. There's Obviously, there's just piles and piles of books, not to mention shelves and shelves of books. Some of them decorated. Some of them just seem fairly standard. Um, these books come in all sorts of colors and sizes. There's tomes. Some look very old. Some look very new. All of the place, journals, you know, just pages, just lo loose pages. There's ink, there's quills, there's paper, there's scrolls, there's all kinds of things you can think of. Basically anything you ever imagine you would see in a library, you see here. And it almost looks endless. It just keeps going and going, turning around the corner. Um, and uh, quite, quite large and very beautiful and old. And Is there a chandelier? Uh, there's many. Cool. For the most part, they're unlit because fire in a library, but <laughs> but not entirely. Um, and then the dragon in front of you is very large, um, as large as you guys would imagine a dragon to be, though I don't imagine any if at all of you... Wait, that wasn't English. I don't imagine any of you have seen a dragon before, at least not an old one. Um... It, it looks very draconic in every way, except for that it does not have scales. It just has folded pieces of paper. It doesn't even sound like it's made of paper, the way it moves. It sounds fairly normal. I mean, as normal as you might expect it to. It's just folded and folded and folded over and over to almost look like scales. Um, but it's a very complex looking creature in front of you. Honestly, it looks as scary as any dragon you would expect. All things considered, probably pretty surprising, honestly. Coming into this, <laughs> I don't imagine many of you heard the term paper dragon and were like, oh, this is going to be like a very large, draconic, like, you know, like, I imagine most of you kind of thought it might be a little different, but it looks like it has transformed itself into... As close to a dragon as I could get. So, who would like to offer their information first, or whatever? I believe... I believe it, it approached one of you, but I can't remember who it was now, actually. It was Atticus. It was it Atticus? Me. Okay. Yep. Cool. Yeah, it, it kind of like swung up because you, you can see, because you guys kind of all spread out for a second to look at different books and just kind of browse, I guess, because you weren't really sure what to do. Um, and you would have seen that this there's multiple layers to this library. Um, it definitely seems like you are on not the bottom floor like nor the top floor. It's like Shrek, yeah. <laughs> um, and it kind of, kind of flew up from these like open sections between kind of different rows and stuff and landed near you Atticus and then the rest of you gather around that's spooky how rude well uh, I, I suppose I'll go first then and it kind of props itself not like in a you know it doesn't sit like a cat or anything <laughs> you know but it kind of like <laughs> almost perches there a little bit and definitely doesn't seem like it's about to do anything hostile. It doesn't seem like it's about to leave. It seems like it's sitting so that it can listen. Story time. Yeah. Crisscross I'm Apples and now. <laughs> well, my um my secret is 
a rather simple one, but still, I, I don't believe anyone knows of it, and I haven't certainly told anyone, so here goes nothing. <laughs> I kind of, I was kind of saying that towards, like, my friends, and then turned toward this huge fucking dragon made of paper, kind of like, oh. And, and I, I will, like, kind of double up on this, on mentioning the fact that it's not, like, down in your face, like, to listen to you. It's very much so, like, yeah. respecting the distance and like not trying to scare you it looks very non-threatening i mean it looks like looking at it it looks like it could very well be threatening but it's definitely not taking any sort of stance i it, mean the dragon's a dragon atticus is a little it's bit very much so mind. sitting back in its chair and preparing for a story kind of in a dragon way <laughs> yeah but yeah no obviously it's yeah it's large <laughs> um how do i put this uh uh, Mr. Paper Dragon, sir, um, you see, you and I are not so unlike, you see. Um, call us cousins once or twice or three times or four or five times, sorry, uh, removed. But I, I do indeed have dragon blood in my veins. Um... I, I, I imagine you don't have the same kind of blood because you were made from a tree and such, but yes, we, we could be related. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> and it kind of like, I mean, effectively raises an eyebrow at you <laughs> and kind of just leans in a little bit and just says, Paper brow. <laughs> you have heard my story. And just kind of like yes. nods slightly I have. in a very like impressed kind of way. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> 20 charisma. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bumbling idiot yes. with 20 charisma. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And the rest of you, what do you think of this? Yeah, I, mean, doesn't I feel really like I already knew that. Yeah, it doesn't really surprise me. Uh, <laughs> Haven't you said your like descent family was descended from dragons? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Actually, I kind of remember that. But it was his family went somewhere, and there was a dragon egg, and then they were somewhat we turned draconic. into Voidborn at that point. Yeah, but uh, so. Uh, doesn't that just mean void borns are dragon adjacent? No, hmm. not at all. No, I mean, not at all. Atticus not is at all. a descendant of a silver dragon. <laughs> 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 Ooh, eh. That means we talked about it at some this point. This means he gets eaten, <laughs> right? And I Into the pit of despair. I have the I name of the dragon. <laughs> He has You're the name of the dragon on. you're descended from. Sound familiar? Hold on, I'll copy pasta. I don't even remember it, to be honest. <laughs> dragon gives him re some respect and the then throws him into the dragon hasn't been seen for over 200 uh, years. Does not sound familiar at all, unless Alex made up the name. Do you say that loud? Lead to the Ancient oh, Herald. That she typed it. Okay, Alex did make up the name, okay. No, I didn't make it up. I don't remember do you, that Do up. you say that in character at all? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I will. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay. What do I say? I don't know. What, I don't know. Lead Lead height. Lead height. Lead height. Lead height. Uh, the, uh, the paper dragon will... Once again, like, kind of, I guess, kind of raise an eyebrow. <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> uh, oh, his eyebrows are not raised. <laughs> this is curious. Very... Very old creature. One of the most famous, perhaps, to ever walk these lands. Oh, uh, I must have forgotten. I'm getting old after all, aren't I? Oh dear. <laughs> he like runs away to, before he gets s s smited down by the paper dragon. No. <laughs> I don't know smited. if this is like... A spoiler, but I think that was more of a theory than anything else. Oh, okay. Well. But. Yeah. That's just what I had written in my notes. Uh, 
And now, who looks around? Grant, get a plate. We have plates. <laughs> the fuck are you even eating Stroop waffle? Uh, Sounds like something Gozak would eat. <laughs> You're not wrong. Sounds like something everyone should be eating. I don't even know what it is. Oh, actually, we had those at the Airbnb, didn't we? I think I saw them. Yes. Yeah. All right, I'll go then. I suppose. Um, something that I have never told anyone. Not even the people who are most important to me. Um, but I can't have children. Took um, care of that possibility a long time ago. The dragon just kind of nods slowly, looks around the rest of you. Yes. You're. Magical? I think you need to speak a little louder or something. Mm, was it medical or magical? <laughs> Probably a little bit of both. Sorry to hear that. Or not? Um. <clears throat> it's my decision now. It's my decision to live with today. Someone else go, please. Uh. <laughs> oh, well, if we're. I guess I'll go in the middle so we don't end on it. I feel as though I am to blame for my wife's passing. I'm sure that's not true. Uh. Well, it, the way it happened a while, a long time ago, uh, I was supposed to arrive at her location and and pick her up, and I I took. A little too long. I I don't know if you've ever heard of the research outpost on Fraxius called Void Point, but uh, a volcano. There was a volcano over, it. and I was supposed to pick her up and take her away from. Her. But took too long, volcano erupted, wiped out the whole camp. If I forgot, if I didn't, took too long. I'm so sorry, Zoot. Must have done your best. I, I didn't. That's how it ended up that way. It's my greatest regret. I guess my greatest not so secret more. And that's what I offer to you. Kind of like nod to the dragon. Dragon nods in return.
I guess I can go. It's a bit of a heavy one to follow up. Yeah, no, I was gonna wait till the end, but no one else would walk. Or, or, and I didn't really feel like starting with that. All right. Well, uh, I was going to be an artificer, or I intended to be an artificer, but uh, after an incident where I almost lost my arm, I decided to uh, to not pursue that line. Never late. What can I ask? What, what uh, happened? Yeah, I'm with Prospero. Uh, there was an incident with one of our um. Oh, what is it actually called? Well, we have these machines in Dhaka that uh, you can uh, drive on the dunes and they're held up by magic energy. And uh, I was repairing one in my house and. There's a little bit of a mishap with the energy from the crystal flowing where it shouldn't have. And, uh, it, it, it banged me up pretty bad. And I had to, you know, go to the hospital. All that, but, you know, got full functionality back in my arm and, you know, decided maybe to not do something that I was not so technically, uh, Prepared for. Well, I'm glad you're alive and well and have both arms. <laughs> yeah, I am too. Well, I don't want to go last, um, <laughs> so I'll follow that one up. Um, uh, I mean, do, do you need kind of like the full story of what happened, or just kind of like the part that they don't know? Cause... Well, I didn't tell him the whole story. If we need the whole story, we'll have to yeah. circle back. Okay. I suppose um, that's up to you. I also wrote a paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> well, when the Solina, Gunther, and uh, Wolfgang and I um, made it to the... Um, the room with all the devils uh, we weren't necessarily fighting on the spot as in um, the, the devil kind of offered everyone a chance to be the one to sign the contract and to um, make their uh, reasoning why um, and uh, I, I didn't bring it up, it up to three uh, that was actually Gunter um, but I, I knew that uh, Selena, because she was a warlock, was going to have the highest, you know, favor with the devil. Um, so I stabbed her first. Um, the devils decided that was enough of a, you know, reasoning. Um, so I never saw the contract because it was kind of, kind of a lot happening at the time. I'm a, I'm a bit confused. The... What? Where did you stab her? <laughs> um, I mean, in the side. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Energy is disappointed. Not the back. Not the back. <laughs> well, I mean, we we were kind of like standing like, next to each other. It, we weren't. I don't think anyone thought that was you know how it was gonna play out. I would it have been better if I stabbed her in the back? It, you, you know, it would have been a good pun, but, you know, nobody appreciates those things these days. No, that would have just been what happened. That's not really a pun. I don't really think this is a story to make jokes at. Yeah, I'd agree. As much situational irony as there might be. Well, the humor is always a, a good coping mechanism, I'd say. Sometimes. <laughs> um, well, that's very fortunate. And, um, it it does make me, um, not question, but wonder 
about your The whole last um, part of that died out, Daniel. It makes me wonder about your character a bit, Reynard. But, you know, we've all done proud of. I just want to clarify, I just stabbed her. And then I was taken away. I, I didn't kill any of them or anything. That was kind of just like the, okay, everyone else dies type of thing. So. Oh, see, that's the part I... I, I mean, I, I don't know what I would have done if I had to, but that was kind of just all that I did. But I knew what I was uh, doing and what it meant for them. Does that mean if we ever find ourselves in a situation with another devil, you're going to stab me? <laughs> I, I hope not. I mean, I, I don't plan on finding myself in another situation with another devil. And we could probably fight a devil at this point. I mean, we, we just did, and I, I sent Tyrannosaurus Rexes at them, so... Ooh, true. I like that option more. Just saying. As the warlock here. <laughs> Is your uh, pact with a demon? My pact is with my mother. Oh, so... Okay, awkward. <laughs> okay, Prosper, you should go. <laughs> well... Well, Please. there's some in about the, that you know. Danielle, you might need to speak louder or turn ah. your sensitivity or something because you're cutting out every other word. Throughout the sense, just don't yeah, like none of on. none of what you said just came through. Yeah. I'm not even in the same room. Turn sensitivity down or up. That's good. It sounds like you right. got it now. Left. So I'm just talking left. very Excuse loudly. Me. Okay, go left. Turn it to the left. Hello. Left. Turn it. Yeah, turn to the left and then talk mm -hmm. normally. And then when is wherever you see the the bar light go, turn, put it a little below it. Hello. That's good. Yeah. That was good. Huzzah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Six. Yes. Thank you. Okay, most of you know part of this story. But not the whole thing. So, um, Mr. Paper Dragon, um, um, so, ma'am, um, anyway, um, a week before I met, um, Zoot here, I was preparing to wed, um, a woman named Mai Wen, and uh, it was an arranged marriage, um, since she was the daughter of one of my grandfather's friends, who was another follower of Stivar? Stivar? D yeah. Allie? Yes, Stivar. Which one? Stivar. Thank you. Um, the two of us were supposed to, sorry, continue the elder's legacy uh, as leaders in our village um, and my one was my best friend and I was in love with her deeply but I knew she loved someone else and I couldn't ask her to travel with to do Crenshaw's work because she would have had to go since in my village it's a bit backwards and women have to do what their husbands ordain um, but if I would have married her and ran away with her she would have been exiled and never seen her lover again so that's why I left her at the altar and left with Zoot instead I've never told anyone this and I've never told her that I loved her or that I knew she loved someone else so for all intents and purposes I ran away with Zoot really <laughs> Yeah, that's probably by far the nicest one had the secret <laughs> <laughs> and uh but that really makes my heart do a little bit yeah, it, it really suits your personality <laughs> truly not a day goes by that I don't think about her but alas 
She's not for me. Truly a kind. Unlike the other pieces of shit around the game. It's me. I was looking at Renard. <laughs> I didn't say. <laughs> uh, mostly joking. Mostly. I'm gonna set check. <laughs> <laughs> Roll it. Go for it. I mean, the zoot. <laughs> zoot, what was your true feeling? Uh, aimed a little bit at Renard, aimed a little bit at himself. <laughs> uh, that's that's an people, oof. Other people might feel like being catching, they're catching strays, but. <laughs> <laughs> But he's just kind of sad right now. Okay, fair enough. So the paper dragon bows a little bit towards Prospero, kind of a nod, and uh, then says, And well done to you all. Well done for making it through the entirety of my library and arriving here. And he kind of looks around. Now, as with all who come here, I am certain that you all look for information. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are, that we are here for that. <laughs> and what is the information that you seek? I will share my information with you. You have proven yourself. <laughs> Atticus, care to go first since you started us off? Y yes, I'm. I'm trying to think of the way to word this. <laughs> oh, um, are you? Are you like a genie? Are you gonna genie us, or are you gonna like actually try to? I am not like the woman that you met in this town long ago. It kind of it makes a little bit of eye contact with Atticus. I am not here to twist the words, or give you oh, thank more goodness. questions. I will share. As I see fit, and hope to be a benefit. You have made your way here, and all who seek me out me? deserve to know, deserve to gain information. Sorry, Vesper, what were you saying? All right, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Just, you die. No. Points of paper damage. Has anyone cut. ever told you that you're quite magnificent? I thank you. Paper Flattery rifle. is appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> you see the paper turn a shade of red. Uh, well, I, I'm actually just curious, unrelated, but how many people have seen you before? Is it like hundreds or a dozen? Or? Mm, this is a complicated question. People <laughs> over time have changed forms, changed definition. Ah, I see. In your ages, right. not many. Interesting. Per perhaps dozens. Alright, well, uh, my... Uh, how do I word this? Uh, my first question. You you probably know, but there are these people called the yokai. And he does, like, the air quotes. People called the yokai. And um, I've been framed for something that they have done. And I want to know who did it, how to find them, and uh, I've been I suppose framed who they are. For something they have done, and I want to know who did it. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm. <laughs> no, I, I meant like the 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 names, like the people, because the yokai have been, you know, the the yokai have been claimed to be different things. You wish to know of the yokai. You know I mean, Alex? Yes. And what happened to you? I see. Yes. Well, the yokai are the firstborn of dragonkin, those who came from dragon. 
before even the Dragonborn that you know. They are also the first wielders of the arcane. Before, long before, Chinook put the tree here for the world to share. There was, around that same time, a cluster of eggs that were separated to ensure the survival of dragonkind. And with it came a prophecy, a prophecy that you have heard, and one that the yokai fear. Do you remember this prophecy? Yes, let me sift through my notes. <laughs> a good adventurer always takes notes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I do have the prophecy. It refers to one who shall inherit the power of those first dragons. And the yokai believe that this person shall destroy them. And they believe you to be one of these possible individuals. Oh dear. Oh, I... <laughs> I, I wonder if I am. I don't even know how to know if I am, for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you are to survive the trek to the place where your ancestors found the silver egg that gave you what powers you do have and find it once more presumably it was correct whether or not you do that is entirely up to you oh I would love to, yes the yokai are A branch of these first dragon kin, I suppose. They are ones who found great power by twisting their abilities. They are touched by the void, as some say. They are never entirely in one place, and they have magic that some might even consider to be unheard of, or ancient, or confusing, uh, impossible, and yet they have twisted these abilities over eras into precision, as you have seen their blade leaves Almost no mark. And the yokai, they have gone through the eras. Especially among the dragonborn, their cousin people. Though they look down on them. And they have done all they can to keep things the way they want them to be. Successfully. They hunt anyone who seeks answers, or who wants to change things. Um, question related to that, um, <laughs> how does their, uh, invisibility, how, how do we see them and how do we fight them? There are modern magics to fight invisibility. As you grow, is certainly it, you shall learn these. Is it just a magical invisibility that they use? They may go invisible as they desire, and even if they are seen, they're constantly shifting in a way that allows them to be more difficult to catch. And at times, some of the even more powerful ones may be slain in one place and rise in another. <laughs> Tough. Tough. There is one. Uh, all right. 
who learned of their abilities and used it for herself. Who might that be? Master Assassin, a young girl by the name Ren. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, fucking name dropping that shit. Danielle, I blame you. <laughs> I blame me too. I don't think I don't think Danielle made a run. I think that was me. I don't care, I still blame her. <laughs> I mean, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> if you intend to track down these individuals now, you will fail. They are more powerful than you can imagine. Uh, are you suggesting that, um, because I, cause I suppose they would know if I go after this, um, uh, the, the place that our fate began, so to say. Uh, so if, if they're all waiting there, does that mean that I should go there later? Well. Oh. And it kind of looks around the library for a second and says, this is one of the few places in the world where magic cannot pry and so the second you step through that door they were no longer watching you but before that time interesting so long as you do not approach get nearer to your goal they may leave you you are but one among a whole history of options. Atticus is gonna like deep, deep <laughs> bow and like step aside. <laughs> and it nods back to you. I said bow before, but most for the most part it's very much so like it's got the, the, you know, it's got the, the presence of something that doesn't bow back. It just nods to you. Like, True. this is very much a, like a you bow to me <laughs> situation. And not like in a disrespectful way, but just like a, I'm the boss here. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly more of you have information you desire. I hope that was fitting to your needs. Thank you for this information. I believe it will be most helpful. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go now. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Sounds like you get a couple questions, so just fire them off. <laughs> just like all of the questions. Yeah, okay. Um... Who's on the Teledor Council? Oh, goodness. Okay, so, you know, I have someone that I really care deeply about that um, needs some help, <laughs> actually, multiple someones, um, and I could probably save a lot of people, but I don't know how many questions I get, so I'm going, <laughs> um, mm. Calm anyway, yourself, I'm gonna child. My... <laughs> Sorry, you're really beautiful, and this is very intimidating. Um... Don't hit on the dragon, Vesper. I already I'm not, read that. I'm nice. not, okay? <laughs> this is not what Vesper looks like when she's hitting on someone. This <laughs> this ain't it, Chief. <laughs> I don't think I've seen her. Oh, God. Okay, Rachel. anyway. Um, okay, I really would like to know how to free a devil from surface in the house. You referred to your mother. Yes. Well, that is a very complicated situation, considering her entanglement. Yes. It feels like a weird word to use nowadays. It just... It's <laughs> it's, it's, it's It's it. Hey, it's a spell. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So your mother was created long ago when yeah. Well, you know of Zorak and he is a man of many split trusts, I suppose. He has many who work for him. And there was one named Ibza. Sorry. <laughs> Can you just spell that for my notes? Let me just write that in Atticus's notes now. <laughs> Thank you. Works for, wait, he works for Zeb? What? He works for... Zorak. Yeah. Zorak. Works he worked for with or for? Ibza works for him. Okay. Ibza is his Archduke. One okay. of his higher ranking members. Um, and uh, a while back he was promoted when he slew one of his rogue employees and she was given as a gift to him yeah i i mean i didn't know the names but i knew the gist <laughs> of that story well your mother made a foolish mistake that i sense is not mine to tell but She is now sort of stuck with herself. But there is a ways around it. You could always, if you feel the need to kill yourself twice, and he, like, <laughs> eyes over to Atticus, <laughs> um, you may always attempt to destroy this Ibza. That would free your mother and upend the entirety of the hells. <laughs> That sounds rather dangerous. <laughs> Are you sure that's the only way? No, no, by no means okay. is that the only way. Okay. You may attempt to go and bargain with him. <laughs> <laughs> Equally yeah. as dangerous. My mama made me promise I wouldn't make any more bargains <laughs> with people. Then a difficult road ahead of you. Can I just take her place? Is that something I could do? Vesper. If you prove yourself as useful as she is, then perhaps that is one of the ways you may bargain. Can I ask a follow-up question? <laughs> Absolutely not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Atticus got like 20! Come on! Um, uh, sorry, no. Um, does Zorak know that I <laughs> exist? Ah, uh, yes. A keen question. Zorak, yes. Ibza, no. And oh, it is oh. in your best interest, by all means, to never let that happen. Thus is the reason your mother does what she does. I hate him so much. Okay. <laughs> I hope this information was of use to you. We'll find out, I suppose. I appreciate it. Um, as you kind of walk back, um, I'm going to cough, maybe, maybe not, okay, um, he is going to look back at you, Vesper, or it, them, uh, are going to look at you and kind of say, keep an eye out for the Skybreaker, and nod. <laughs> The Skybreaker. And then turn to Zoot, you said you were approaching? Sure, yeah. It's not ominous. Wh whoever it was. I, I, think it, I think it was me. Okay. 
Sorry, I'm just. Uh, it's my notes day, and there's a lot of information <laughs> flying. It's only information. <laughs> exactly. I expect it all to be written down. <laughs> so, okay. I mean, good. Good news is I can type mine later. Probably. Uh, well, um. Obviously, I have so many questions I could ask. And we could be here for days, just me asking you random shit, but I'm not going to take a good time with that. Um, I... Well, I have a couple <laughs> questions. One, do you know about... Like, are you omni omnipotent? Un omnip omnipotent, I think, is the word you're working yeah. for. Omnipotent. Un yeah, oh, oh, oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! Uh, <laughs> my entire <laughs> my entire life goal is to gather information. It would not be very much of a goal if I already had it all. That's fair. Well, the reason I ask is I've shared with you one of my two great regrets. Indeed. My my do, second. Do you wish to share the other? Um. It yes, because I wish to have information. My second regret is when I was younger, significantly younger. <laughs> I, where I found this armor, kind of like gestures to it, was an old set of ruins. Indeed. I haven't been able All right. to find my way back to those ruins. There are creatures there that killed one of my friends. I I want to know if you can if you know the location or can tell me about that. What is it that you seek? Vengeance? Information? Uh, information about the location for vengeance. <laughs> I, I suppose. Or just information if you don't know <laughs> the exact location. I know this location. It is an old town of Dragonkin. Perhaps Yokai. <laughs> Those All mountains it. are littered with them. The people that once lived there now have moved to the island, become the dragonborn, but everything that they left behind lingers. If you desire vengeance, then I can give you the location but they are nothing more than pathetic creatures that happen to find some young kids. I understand. If that is what you wish, I shall give you a map. I don't think that'll be necessary. As, as for the information about your armor, I imagine that if you give it enough time, you'll be able to figure it out. Uh, is there <laughs> at least a name of for the is it like I understand if it's just ancient dragonborn or something but is there is there like a race name attached to it or? no these were crafted by the hands of these same creatures he asked of and the tail kind of flicks towards Atticus guess your shit's boiling into mine <laughs> it's because uh, we're both old of course Unfortunately, it seems that way, yes. 
Oh, uh, looks like we've got some shared goals. That we do, that we do. Thank you for your information. Oh, also, can you drink stuff? <laughs> I have no reason to. But can you? I suppose I could. Okay, I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> a curious question from a curious mind. And he nods to you. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. Who's going go. next? Go. Go, it's your turn. Does anyone want to go? Go, away? go. Eating cereal. Okay, <laughs> Prospero, you go. It is I. Lir. Um, no, that's who we're blaming for Atticus's problems. <laughs> no. Not oh. that, um, I'm not trying to insult your intelligence, oh great paper <laughs> dragon, but I'm just curious, a good lead. <laughs> wondering if you might know if my family's all... Your family as well. Do they miss... They worry and ask about you to their god every day. Um... Is my Wen married? <laughs> Curiously enough, she too departed. Ooh. <laughs> she Ooh. In reality, you got left at the altar. The old switcheroo. The old switcheroo. Where do you know where she went? <laughs> Indeed. Do you truly want to know? Did she die? <laughs> no. Where did she go? She has found home among the dwarves. What? But. But. <laughs> oh. Is she in love? She was. <laughs> oh. Your face. <laughs> um. Was she in love with Prospero? Can you tell the future to be a dear dragon? Megan. I cannot. Well, based on your boundless knowledge, um, <laughs> could you make an educated guess? on if you think I will find love again. <laughs> Prospero. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that is up uh, to you. Like... Last love, question. Love sucks. <laughs> I hate it. Who, who has the best body of our group? <laughs> In your opinion. <laughs> I puff out my chest a little bit. <laughs> it turns to Gozak. <laughs> That's a W. That's just not fair. <laughs> well, thank you. I bow. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're still looking at me. Yeah. I don't not... really have a question. <laughs> No, I like prospect. a little mystery in the world. You, Fair enough. You don't want to know anything about your the astrolabe? Like who has? <laughs> Turns Can I take a question? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. You you can try. You I'm gonna try. Answered everyone's <laughs> questions. <I don't... laughs> I don't know what the decorum is here, Reinhard. I don't know what decorum <laughs> means, so... I've seen a dragon before. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to take Ozark's question. Um, <clears throat> what do you know about Achilles' flame? 
and it's gonna look at Gozak and go. You are certain you do not desire information? Not exactly ignoring you, but kind of like giving you a sideways glance. I get it. Mm, lots of people appear to have big problems than I do. Plus, like, if that mystery is what truths. You believe? It's all, yeah. It's always the same in the end. I respect your choice. And then it turns to you, Vesper. <laughs> Achilles' flame is a relic of the god for which it is named. What do you wish to know about it? It was lost and found. Yeah, I did. It's in Genolia. It's fine. Ago. I just want <laughs> to know how to stop it doing what it's doing and make it all go away. There is only one way to stop that which has been run over the flame. And that is to find the flame and run it over again. Why? That's not awful. <laughs> <laughs> your, your words are saying one thing, your faltering voice is saying another. <laughs> I mean, do you know where it is? It is being kept very, very closely under guard in the place that you speak with yeah, great plans. I What the fuck's Charlie got up her butt? You said what? <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Um, <laughs> well, the queen of Priyaga has seen her mother's, her mother and her mother's mother and her mother before her all in her eye, disrespected. And she does not desire that anymore for her nation. Well, I disrespect the hell out of her, so it's not working very well. <laughs> she means to move east. God damn it. Why do I have to have vendettas against two powerful people? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just two. <laughs> I'm done. I can't take this anymore. Someone <laughs> else go. <laughs> okay. Nods to you. Turns to Raynard. Okay. Um, so I don't have like a specific set of questions, even though everyone wants me to ask about certain things, probably. So I was actually kind of asking for a flame, but I have some other ones. Um, so your story, how accurate? The one that the old person told us, he'd, how, how accurate is that story, or is there more to it? The nomads are the few who know my story better than any other. Those who live outside believe they know better than them, and so they ignore their stories. Okay. Um... I, I, so I, this is out of character real fast did he clarify like a location of where the silver like how to find the where Atticus is, was before or is this still not like a known thing uh not quite did not okay. uh, I cool. remember where it is but I think it moves yes just like the library oh. <laughs> how would we find Atticus's um family's up and comments I don't know the term for it. The, the place that moves that we have to go find eventually, but not now. Well, that is quite an old place, surrounded by very old magic. And it seems that fairly recently you came upon magic of your own. That is quite old. Right. Oh shit, he's talking about the iPad. <laughs> Perhaps this will help you in your endeavors, once you learn how to master it. The suit just starts fucking with it. <laughs> He's in the library. <laughs> yeah. The one place magic can't reach. Just through the door, it could be in here. <laughs> um... Oh, okay. The... 
there, there's stories of these ancient dragons with their eggs being lost to time. Um, it's the only way to bring back the metallics. Is that true? It looks at the ground for a second, and then back at you and says, Dragons are some of the oldest creatures in existence. They are much smarter than to be destroyed. They are in a rather unfortunate position at the moment, not in their greatest time. However, there are those who still live, and there are eggs remaining, which could be used to hatch more and get them back to where they once were. I, I guess, I mean, everyone knows that, like, chromatics and uh, metallics don't get along. But what exactly has happened to the metallics? Is it just chromatics killing them or slaying them? Or is it magic? <laughs> it looks thing? at you, like, a little bit closer and goes, You who has studied history has not heard of the Great Plague. I, okay, I've Plague? heard of it. Plague. Plague. Plague? I also know that people don't There are no grammar books in that library. No, it's the grips. They're talking about the grips. <laughs> you mean the Great Bring it back, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Daniel, can you, uh... She just meet for me. <laughs> I'm just oh, what was the question, Grant? I actually didn't hear you. I, I've oh, heard the stories of it, but I also know the, um... Humankind knows nothing of the dragons, really. Some claim to, but... They'll... I mean, most will claim that you don't exist. Indeed. Um... There, those who live, those who have survived, have done so by putting themselves in a good position. And they have very carefully guarded who, if anyone, knows about them. It's a good position. Sorry. Um. <laughs> it is... I, I obviously, you know, I grew up hearing the history of the dragons and not really ever being able to meet any or see any. And um, it was a childhood dream um, to be able to at least, you know, try to help. Is, is there anything that someone or a group of someones like us could ever do? Or is it just something that's got to be figured out with time? And... You know, the metallics getting their shit together. Well, relatively to most of you people, um, time moves slower for dragons. They do not treat a year as a long time. And the chromatics. Can you call a group of seven days? <laughs> never heard of it. The chromatics. <laughs> <laughs> over the past years have grown stronger. There are those who aim to take over as they do. You are adventurers, and so if happenstance brings you upon these creatures, these few who still live, perhaps it is not an accident. It oh, seems your fate is already tied to one of these eggs. Always the fucking it. <laughs> don't look oh, at me. Don't it's Benjamin's fault. Whoop! Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Probably my fault a little too. How Apes. dare you? So, the story was that the Great Plague was caused by Moxique. Is that indeed actually true? Indeed. So, how. I mean, she's been dead for what? 150 years now? How long till the plague is fully gone, or oh, it has it been just... taken care of at this time? So it's just a numbers thing or time thing, and worry of the um, chromatics being too strong. 
Or, yes. To the right. The metallics are few and far between, and even if they were to reveal themselves, there are many who would see them fall. Draconic or not. Okay, last important question. <laughs> What's the greatest story you've ever heard? Oof. Oof. Mic drop. I know far too many stories to choose a single one. For each individual, the greatest you story. You all those. For each individual, the greatest story they know shall be the story that they write. Ooh, got him. What's your story you wrote? What'd you say? Graham? What's your story you wrote? It's called it was the a figure of Kettle. speech. <laughs> <laughs> it's a picture book. <laughs> it's for children. <laughs> it's a much a novel that Prospero has been reading. Age, ages five to eight, Wait, unless you're an elf. You that it's wrote six. the desire of the satyr. <laughs> <laughs> he he actually, <laughs> the paper dragon writes all this smut book. It, it nods to you, Reynard, and uh, someone's gotta do it. It's, it. I guess looks at the gr group in general and kind of goes, "Is there any further information that you wish to know of my library?" I think I could stay here forever. Yeah, well, I mean, I have a lot of questions, but they're probably all not all that relevant to what you're... Oh, uh, you said, what, what was the question you want to ask about the astrolabe? Oh, well, like, where the fuck is it? What is it? <laughs> what is it? In the upside-down forest. Well, okay. Well, but, like... No quarter. The astrolabe is in no quarter. In you the know. hands of a very powerful man. Which we had a pretty good idea about. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, I was just looking for a name. <laughs> Makes it easier. Is Ghost Dad actually a pirate? Oh, yeah. Is Ghost Ooh. Dad Sharkbite? We know his yes. dad is named Sharkbite. We need I mean, to know I mean, if he's like, a pirate. I like, like the pirate thing. That depends Terrible. on your definition. Is he... is he like the big king of Yar? <laughs> no, he is not the big king of Yar. Is he one of them? He's... Does he pillage other boats? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me look up his name so I can say this right. Because I don't want to say it wrong. What do you mean? His name is Gozak's oh, yeah. like a... <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh... <laughs> Delgon sits among the table of pirate lords, but he does not <laughs> sit at the end. Does he want to sit at the end? I bet he does. If he wanted to sit at the end, he would be sitting at the end. No, oh, you're pirate royalty. <laughs> How many are there and who sits at the end? <laughs> there are nine. And at the end sits the pirate lord. By the name of Pirate Lord. <laughs> Again, a self-explanatory name. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, we're allowed to ask our own question. I know. I was. <laughs> Should have wasted your questions, Go. <laughs> I didn't waste my question. <laughs> Go was very content not knowing everything. No, I'm saying you should have wasted it so other people couldn't have used it. <laughs> I mean, everyone has had six questions by this point. Yes. The I idea have... that anyone has one question is absurd. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. Is there a destination you wish to go next? We should probably talk about that. Ooh. Because I know we like talked about going after the yokai, but it sounds like we really, really shouldn't right now. <laughs> How do we feel about maybe visiting some dwarves? <laughs> Why do you want to go? To oh, <laughs> keep, keep it like in that Yeah, yeah. Or... Specifically, which dwarves are you talking? About? Um, paper dragons, sir. 
Okay, let me get this straight. Did you just pss, pss, the paper dragon? <laughs> <laughs> this giant imposing like thirty by. Uh, 30 with with that, the paper dragon is going to take flight and shall say, "When you have reached decision, I will find you again." Wait, and where's fly my away. Wait, which door? Where... Uh, uh. Congratulations, well, we can... Prospero! You have offended <laughs> a dragon that has been here since the dawn of time. I have been warning about heartbreak for months, and you couldn't commiserate at all? Not at all! That's because I just made it up in the last 24 hours. Ridiculous. <laughs> Seriously, you should You need to work on your memory. Right? No, that's, a, that's a joke. Um, anyway. <laughs> no, I, my heart was breaking too, but it didn't seem like there was room for more than one heartbreak in this group. Or more than two. I think everyone has heartbreak in this group, Prospero. I, I just wanted to say that my story was in my backstory since day one. <laughs> well, mine was in it since day three. The basis for mine was in my backstory, <laughs> but the actual story itself was not. Um, <clears throat> so, where to? Well... It looks like those people in the mountain aren't weren't, aren't worth a trip for me. So I suppose it seems like there's no quarter or there's genitalia. I don't think that's quite right, see. <laughs> Sounds perfectly right to me. No, no, I've been there plenty. That's the name. It's genalia. Yeah, it's yeah, genitalia. Oh, I'm perfectly fine calling it genitalia because um, Charlie's a fucking cunt. Yeah, that's what I said, genitalia. Who's Charlie? The queen of genalia. Oh, you know her personally? No. Well, then why do you call her Charlie? Because that's, that's her name. Her name. Oh, I'd call her Queen Charlie if I were you. <laughs> I'd say that to her face, that is. <laughs> to kiss, she already ha wants my head on a platter. I don't think I can offend her anymore. Oh, so maybe we don't go there. No, I think we should. I need to find... I want... I want to go. Okay. Why, well, you're just going to die. But not if you're crafty about it. <laughs> I'm not just gonna walk in and be like, yo, 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 Queen Charlie, look, I'm here. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. I don't know if you've realized, but we're not, we're neither the stealthiest nor the craftiest group you could make. Hey, to be fair, I am pretty crafty. Atticus, I'm oh, actually enough. really good at disguises. Yes, you some of us could are. even say that I'm proficient in them and I can put them on other people. Yes, I can also put a mustache on other people. Thank you. It's not. Oh my god. I've done plenty of trade in <laughs> genitalia. <laughs> so I. What? Is, is, is it a weird a Do I have a weird accent or something? It's I'd... into campaign. <laughs> Where's the T that you're saying? You're not saying a T. What? And genitalia. Well, it's actually yeah. A, of course. Shit. I don't see it on the map anywhere. Oh, well, here. I see. Oh, so, they haven't updated it in a while. That's why. Yeah, here, let me... Yeah, this this map's over 100 years old. I don't know what you, like, what you're so bent out of shape. Fine. It's fine. <clears throat> the DM's gonna smite you, but it's fine. Well, I've lived a good life, and... Who's the DM? I, I've just learned that the beings that I've been angry at for quite a while are not even worth the salt or the memory, so I don't really know how to feel about that. Um, but, I but yeah, no, understand we... your frustration, Zoot. I'm sorry okay. that you didn't get quite the answers that you were looking for. Honestly, I... Th I think I'm okay. Uh, kind. Of, it'll probably take a little bit of time to be at peace with it, but 
it just feels bad that the the death in the tunnel was just kind of a random happenstance by some monkeys. I mean, it seemed like the creatures themselves, yes, were just kind of meh, but they were, I think maybe, and maybe I'm misunderstanding this, were created by the very same creatures that Atticus is after. So maybe you'll find some sort of fulfillment when that comes to completion. Or we can just kill those creatures. The Make ones that... Better. I mean, as much as I'd love to, the ones that did it are probably a little bit. Guys, what's your opinion on killing an Archduke? <laughs> is it is his name Ferdinand? So if no. that's the case, it's probably an issue somewhere down the line. No. I don't really know what an Archduke is. Um... Okay, so you know how you owe three favors to, like, whatever the fuck her name is? Yes. Yeah, this guy's, like, ten tiers above her. He's up a management. Vesper, yeah. safe to say that you would know that, um... I just the... took a guess on the pecking no, order. No, Arch no. Archduke <laughs> is, is quite literally right below. Yes, right below the yes. god of the hells. Yes, that. How, how far down the line is uh, the Aranes? Aranes, how do you say it? Is it ten levels below? Gets out. It gets out his uh, chart. It's, it's, not anywhere near. It. <laughs> yeah. It's at least ten. Might be more. Yeah. So Archduke would be number thirteen. Aaron yes would be nine. But it's not so even it's... considered. It's it's considered a greater versus a duke. Which is like another level entirely. My Lord Duke. Yeah, that sounds like a bad idea. But I really want to. <laughs> really, really want to. It's only a bad idea if it doesn't work. True. <laughs> well. Maybe we could do like a two birds, one stone type situation where we get Reynard's Aranese killed too. <laughs> I mean, could you fight an archduke? Yeah, can, conceptually, I'm, any of I'm okay with it, but is that even something that's realistic for us? I don't know. Maybe, I assume he's in the hells, it's right? Means, I want him gone. Uh, could we fight your mother, per se, to get a basis? Ma like, uh, hypothetically, of course. No, she's already hurting enough. No, they. No, like, like, could we win a fight against your mother? Not gonna fight my mother. I'm not saying that. I'm saying hypothetically. <laughs> so if she's a lower level than the Archduke and we couldn't win a fight against her, then you should probably know a little bit about her combat prowess, yes? Or is that just flat no? That's not her particular skill set. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sounds like we win. Yeah, it sounds like we win a fight. So it's like you didn't all just bar your souls to a dragon five minutes ago. Why do you have to be so cruel? Well, I mean, I do think it's a le it's a legitimate question. It's the question isn't. The answer is, I don't know, and um, the greater answer is, I'm not suggesting we march ourselves into the hells right now, I don't even know how to do that. I'm just saying, theoretically, if we're getting strong enough to fight the yokai, do you think we could maybe get strong enough to kill an archduke in the hells? Yeah, I think, so. I, yeah, I think conceptually, as as an idea, I'd, I would be for it. If we had... Uh, Mediocre chance at victory. Well, you all better get to training then, because I can't do this without you. Oh, is the other one's dukes, and then that one is an archduke? Yes, that's how it works. So, I, I guess I'm kind of, you know, 
the person that joined. Oh, how did your mom get stuck in this whole situation? Kind of accepted this, but like. That's not really my story to tell. And you kind well, of sort of heard it just now. Well, I mean, I, I had like parts of it, but just how it came My to mom was created as a gift. Oh, she's created. To oh. the Archduke. Oh, I missed that part. Okay. Yeah, I, I missed the created word. To me. Okay. That right? Did I say that right? Or was she already existing and then given us a present? No, she was. She was made. Yeah. So, so I can just poof, make another demon as strong as your mom. He's a god. He can do whatever he pleases. Okay. Could we fight uh, Zorak, do you think? Zorak is even bigger than the Archduke. I don't know how many gods you've fought, but they're pretty powerful. Right. Prospero, would you want to fight Cruncher? Well, well, who said fight Cr I would never. <laughs> okay, I, and now I'm a little more weary about going to the Hells when Zorak can just poof, make another Archduke as soon as we kill one. Or make like six not year quite. moms to fight or something. That sounds not ideal. <laughs> six year moms. Adim. Weird way to say that. And if you uh, want to use her name. If six of our moms, but make some demons, is that better? Just. I, I, I'm just saying, like, that sounds a lot worse to fight there than, uh literally anywhere else in the um different planes we could i don't know how it works reynard i've never been to the hells i just know what i've been told we asked how to get to the hells when he comes back I'm yeah, I pretty sure there's like this play on a shift thing you can do when you're really good at magic. I believe you also need a fork from the hell, too, though. Yeah, I'm sure they just sell those on a street corner. I think we've established we shouldn't go to the hells today, so... Yeah, that's something. I think, yeah, I think it's just a conceptually, would you guys be okay with trying to do this? And I think the answer has been yes. Yes. So I think that this is a discussion we can table for the time. I would agree with you, Steve. Uh, so then I guess the question is, do we want to go to Undisclosed Dwarven City number three? Or <laughs> would we like to go to Genitalia? Yes. I mean, Divada and Genalia are pretty close to each yeah, other. Divada's the only big Dwarven city I know. Um... <laughs> Alex, don't make that face. Um, I don't make any face. And then also, Prospero's sun oh. location is up by Port of Hair, which is like sort of not close, but closer than here. Oh, uh, can we? Wait, we did. We got locations for all of this stuff. Did we mark them on the map? Uh, I I can. Um, I would actually be okay to go to Port O'Hare. I kind of want to go for a long time. Oh, you no nothing Port to do with your business. I just want to see Tadlock it. Tadlock stacks included peninsula. Sorry, peninsula. So we could go to Port O'Hare and do whatever you want to do there. It's a marvelous city, actually. And we could do Prospero's thingy. And then go somewhere south. Go south. Oh, well, I mean, I'm okay with with either. Hey, honestly, I just figured we go right to Junalia. Uh, I'm okay with going to Port O'Hare. I love Port O'Hare. Port O'Hare is cool. 
I was hey, somehow I knew that, Zeus. <laughs> there's there's a feeling. How do we feel about making a stop in the Stepford Strait? A in what? The what? Oh, the Strait. In it's Fraxes. over here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, well, now what? we're just drifting around the entire fucking world. Now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's go to Petadine. It seems wonderful this time of year. Yeah, we could go like to Kuro. Um, figure out a way to tell my um, family that I'm okay. Do you have a spell? That or a you know, there's, there's, just a mail, <laughs> there's a I, mail system I, that we could just go to Portal here and say, here, some gold. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Whatever, never mind, it was stupid anyway. No, I mean, Prosper, I understand the sentiment, but don't you literally have the magical abilities to let your family know you're okay from a very great distance? Never mind. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> Guys, don't give Prosper too much of a hard time. He just found out that his person he cared about, you know, got married and found love and stuff. No, she she's single. It's, it's oh, sorry. Worse. She does that. Dwarves. Prosperous, looking for a booty call in Juveta, yes. That's literally it's the whole so reason we're it. going there. Uh, I'll say something. Okay. When Prosperous says that, I'm going to say something in Dwarven. Does anyone know it? No. Uh, nope. nope. One second. I'm sure no one does. I might. I've got a lot. I do not know Rainer, Dwarven, damn it. Dude, you're old. <laughs> this is Rainer. Uh. <laughs> nice. What do you say? So I know. I'll send it to you. <laughs> um, send it to him and not. There's a dwarf around you. That's like. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna fault Prosper if you're wanting to seek out my win. Because the very reason I want to go to Genolia is for. So we're going for love. Yes, we're on the quest for love. <laughs> What well, a wonderful quest! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's true. Oh, I could use a better shovel. I've still got that old Nod one. <laughs> a better shovel? You can get that literally anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can go do that and get a really nice one. I like shovels, do that. They. Alright. We've got shovel, kind city. of three cities. We've got Duvetta, we've got Genolia, we've got O'Hare. Yeah, I mean, I think it makes sense to port, like, do one into two better than the other, but... Uh, Alex, can I clear something up real quick? No, what do you want? Okay, Never mind. We could go um, to the null quarter. <laughs> Actually, I'll, I'll message you. Okay. Yeah, I guess technically. You can oh, tell what do you what do you mean technically? So we can go from Janalia to Duvada up to Port O'Hare and then teleport to the North Quarter. God, teleporting so expensive. Yeah, uh, so have you checked your pockets lately? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can afford it. Yeah, I'm a little flush. What of it? It's a little silly to be complaining about the cost of things when you can afford it ten times over. Well, the yeah, North Quarter does it eleven times. <laughs> The no quarter no, doesn't I have do. an easy way to get to it. Oh, I do have a shit ton of money. I forgot how much I had. <laughs> <laughs> Start, like, looks into the bag, looks like, visibly, like, <laughs> just like, yeah, I'm good. I'm sorry, say again. I said the no quarter doesn't have a good way to get to it. There's no easy way to get there. You're all talking about places that have roads. Or teleporters. Okay, but then how do we get out? Well, I mean, you get a ship. Then why don't we it's easier go to there get by one from Because it's easier to get one there than when you're not there. Nobody's going to be like, yes, I want to sail to the place with pirates. But the pirates are always saying, oh, I want to go to the place where there aren't pirates. A very, very meta question for the group. Mm hmm. Does anyone ever inherit any sort of teleportation abilities as we get stronger? I imagine Prospero should have. I don't think Pro I don't think Cleric's. I thought Cleric's as a I thought as a nature player though. Sorry, what are we so asking? What I have? Does anyone get any sort of teleportation magic? I would say there's yeah, probably a higher likelihood that that sorcerers would get it than a cleric would. 
banishment. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I haven't checked the oh. fucking tree, tree stride. Crossword gets tree stride. Oh wait, no, that's not the. No, that's not. Is never that mind. Tree never mind. Oh. No, that's yeah. the. No, I always get those two confused. No, tree strides. Never mind. It's like teleport through trees or something. That's a tree. Sorry, I get those mixed up all the time. Yeah, no, I, I get it. Tree stride is such a cool ability. Okay, so we have to kill off one of our party members so we can get a wizard. Got it. Or a druid. What? Or you you have a bard. Player seven. Can you bard. Bards, bards can do everything. Okay, okay let's not, okay. Let's not fuck around. Bards can Sorcerers TP? get teleportation circle. Yeah, yes. I'm, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure. Sorcerers what is that? Fifth level. Write that down, write that down. You guys get teleported at 7th level as well. Whoops, sorry. Oh, that's easy. We're really close to 5th level spells. Okay, uh... <laughs> well, 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 I mean... No, yeah, well, it's I next level, it. and we, we just kill. kill a paper dragon. If we kill the... Okay. okay. If you kill a paper dragon, you won't have... Sorry. If you fight the paper dragon, you won't have to worry about your teleportation spells. I'll just say that. <laughs> yeah, because uh, we will be able to teleport die. forever. Yeah. You, you think he can face us when we have a tinder box? Fool. Alright. <laughs> you really think a piece of paper can just light on fire? Um, Alright. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, with, right. with that specific statement, yeah. <laughs> I hate but, but no, I, w I would say start Janalia, start Portal Hair. But why? I have a flower petal that's dying by because the day. It really does feel like the null. Oh! Oh my god, I forgot about that! Tell me I'm not as important, Sue. Holy shit! Tell me I don't have equal standing with everyone else here. Do it. Uh, you don't have equal standing with everyone else here. Well, there it is. Well, you you asked me to say it. That's, that doesn't make it true. Well, you were going to say I, something I akin to it. Well, you I was gonna say going to tell... I'm going to say the Astro Lab is going to be there no matter what. Will it? I mean, yeah. Are you sure? Well, I, mean, I was not aware you were a master of divination. Well, as sure as I am that it's there right now. Which you wouldn't have known. We can just come back oh, and we'll look the paper so, so we don't actually know where it is. Right, but I don't know why you're so keen to go north. Oh, well, cause, simply because I like Port O'Hare, <laughs> Duveta, and Genalia better than the Nolcora. Oh, so you've been to the North Quarter? No, I haven't. Oh, That's so how do you know you like it better? Because <laughs> I know I like the other one. But you don't know that you don't like or dislike the North Quarter. You've never been there. You can't really well, say you don't like it if you've never been there. Paper Dragon, we're ready to leave, please. <laughs> well, I would like to go to the North Quarter, and the rest of us would like to. <laughs> Got it. Oh no, no, wait, not this again. Wait, wait a second. We did this last campaign. Oh god. Oh no. Well, I I'll again. say, I, I don't know really what this whole Astrolabe thing is for, or why it matters, but I would go to the middle quarter. The Astrolabe goes to the place. elemental plane of water, or it shows the entrance. Okay. That's the paper yeah. dragon knew what, where what are you the, looking for in the elemental plane, plane of water? Plane of water was, and you could have just asked him where it was. I'm not looking for anything. My dad's after the astrolabe. Oh. Should we hide it from him then? Yeah, is that so, a good so, thing? Is that a bad thing? You want to give it to him? If you're not after the astrolabe, why do you want to go to the milk quarter? Because that's where the astrolabe is. But you're not oh. after. Oh, you're trying to get it for your dad. No, but if he's after something valuable, it means that it must be a tough to get. And it's worth out of time to go get it. Why can't daddy just go get it himself? Oh, God. Because he's a cripple? <laughs> that seems awfully offensive. Wait, wait, wait your father's <laughs> a cripple? You, that yes, <laughs> when <laughs> every one of walk. you met him, he was <laughs> walking with a limp and yeah. a cane. I, I, I him. We met him, I forgot about that. Ran, ran I, 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 that's fair. Yeah. I remembered we met him, I didn't remember he had a limp and cane. Mm -hmm. Reynard never met him, and Vorjak never met him, so... <laughs> <laughs> True, Vorjak was, was kept in timeout outside of the estate. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, by yeah. that I mean I'm pretty sure it was Grant's idea, because he knew what would happen if he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, sorry. That clock was mighty, mighty expensive. That was a juicy clock. <laughs> you can get a clock like that in Port O'Hare. Reynard's never seen that clock. I, I, we, we should probably do the Vespa thing first, because we have that plant. I, I nearly forgot about that. Oh, well, the uh, leaf, yeah. Er, yes, the leaf. He just made it sound like the leaf wouldn't work for Arya. No. And isn't the leaf good for about a year? Hey, two things. Um, I just asked, like, how Achilles Flame worked and how to make it unwork. He didn't say that, like, the leaf wouldn't work. I feel like that would have been one of the two answers, though. He know should know we have the leaf. He knows everything, it seems like. Oh, wait, okay, we can ask, we can ask, we can ask, go with that. Yeah, well, the leaf will either work or it won't, and if it doesn't work, we'll go find the fucking flame! Oh, I'm fine finding the flame anyways, that's... <laughs> oh, I I'm fine Pretty finding sure the flame anyways. <laughs> um, but I'm just saying I would be perfectly... I, I, I don't know if we need the leaf to work, it was an idea. We can ask if it will work, but I actually think go as a point. And honestly, Which I'd is... like to out pirate or pirate lord. That if his dad's going there, it's <clears throat> probably for a good reason. Um, if we do come across that that leaf won't help her. Um, I wonder if the paper dragon has anything that we could trade for it. You think it holds stuff, like items of value? Well, I'd assume it holds books. Stairs around everywhere in like, <laughs> gigantic ass library. I meant like magical items, not just books, of course. Perhaps. We never asked. We should ask. I, I think we should ask about the plant, though. I do think finding Achilles Flame would be a borderline suicide mission. If it's actually with the, you know, a queen of a country. Which, you know, okay. Not if it is. Because it's with the queen. She'll probably have it under a lot of guards and key and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, as long as they don't have like a anti-magic zone or something. Good. What's that? <laughs> well, that doesn't uh, make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know why they'd have something like that. We don't do that in this campaign. <laughs> okay, so, or just to tally up the votes, I, I vote for Porto Hair, Duveta, Genalia, or No Quarter. Okay. Literally what we've been discussing. Yeah, well, that's. Yeah, those, are, <laughs> those, are, those are the areas. I feel like you're casting your vote, you cast your vote to, like. Cast it for all of them. What's, I like what's all your of them. first place? So, in other words, he's abstaining. I'm voting Genalia. for Genalia. Excuse me. Genitalia, my vote. That's not on the map. We're gonna end up somewhere very strange if he tries to teleport us to Genitalia. <laughs> uh, Zoot, where would you like to go? Uh, I'd like to hear everyone else's. I think we should have the no quarter. Prospero. I vote Genalia. Atticus? Janet Jellia, as I said. Uh, Janalia. So Janalia or... Like, I know we want to go to there. Do we want to start for a hair make our way down or just start Janalia? I think we should go... Up. I think we should go up. So start in Junalia and then... And then go to Duveta and then to Port O'Hare. And I think we'll be able to find some means to get to the Null Quarter from Port O'Hare. I mean, the pirates go by Port O'Hare too. You know? Just travel the entire continent, that's fine. <laughs> Is everyone okay with going up? Or... Yeah, I'm okay. I... Absolutely. Okay, uh, I'll vote down, but... Point, point of order. Is anyone else a wanted person 
<laughs> Janalia. <laughs> no, you get rid of the other wanted I'm person, wanted Janalia. By my family. To be clear, I don't know for a fact I'm wanted, but they did try to come after me and Ari at the same time, so like... <laughs> I'm probably wanted there. <laughs> wanted by the ladies, you mean? <laughs> oh, uh, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, I've gone there like as on a weekend trip type of thing. Not weekend, but you know. Okay. So what is a, is a uh, weekend? That number of day time period thing. <laughs> it's called a vacation. Two that days at the end of five days. <laughs> yeah, more like three days at the end of four days. Mm. That was a nicer one. Hate it. One of those Icelandicos. Okay, well, it sounds, so it sounds like you're gonna have to be in a disguise there. I don't know. That's all right. Okay. I can I've done it before. I can do it. Do you want me to do it now? Well, I mean, that was the thought. I don't know if the paper dragon plans on teleporting us right there or something. So. Okay, I will. Use my um, cosmetic and disguise kit to put together a nice little disguise for me. Okay, sounds good. Anything particular you want to make yourself look like? Um, well, I can't really do anything about the fact that I have horns on the top of my head. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. Um, but I'm just gonna like use the makeup to make my skin look a different color and my horns. Um, I'll put on, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do it so that I look more like Atticus. And then, um, I'll put on like a, a cloak because I don't know, the sun hurts my eyes because I'm so fucking pale. Um, and I'm actually gonna like cover up that's unheard of she Everyone is in disguise oh. <laughs> all right sounds good so also i can just like disguise myself to look like someone completely different because of this ring if i have to that's only once a day thing the paper dragon returns and asks you once more where would you like to go Genalia. I say before any of these Genitalia. fuckers can say genitalia. <laughs> real, real fast, we have a couple extra questions we thought of. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you're teleported away. <laughs> um, the flower that we found. The uh, Zara flower. The Zara flower. Thank you. Um, is Would that treat Arya if she's been lost to the Achilles flame? It has the potential. That's the biggest it could I've ever heard. <laughs> <Maybe. Science. laughs> Shrug. Science. If you are, it, it's it's more like a, if you are able to properly utilize it, and less oh. of like it might work. <laughs> Who's got ninety nine or blur? <laughs> okay, stares at Prospero. Um, <laughs> you going to? You mean herbalore? <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Don't start. Don't start. Next question. Herbalore. Um I, I I guess I should figure it out. What did I sign up for? Oh, that's a good question. <sighs> I cannot tell you the future. Motherfucker. Do you know what the contract says though? You can certainly try. The contract <laughs> <laughs> the contract has put you in a position to be utilized when she so desires. Three favors. Yeah, and what oh. happens if he says no to any of these favors? Just out of curiosity. Like, is the, is the like magic involved? Is it just like? Are you sure, he's just dead. Like, does he just go? Ah. <laughs> like well. what? Not often do good things happen when you refuse to fulfill your end of a request made by a devil. 
old boy. Yeah. Does, well, I, kill, yeah. does killing the devil in the contract? Potentially, or it passes it on to whoever she listens to. Oh, so we gotta kill him quick. We're really just going to be dismantling the hells, <laughs> aren't we? <laughs> Good luck in your crusade. No. <laughs> For the whole um. land. <laughs> that might be oh, little... is... Um, my win, is she a Tuvada or is she <laughs> on a dwarf somewhere else? She's in a small village. Not Duvada. Oh. Alright, so we don't even have to go to Tuvada, really. <laughs> Well, I mean, I loved, but yeah. Cool things. Janalia, then? Okay. Yeah. Do Janalia. Yeah, I mean, if you, Very you don't well. know what. A, I mean, you can ask what Win is too. Like, if we, if you got a name. <laughs> and you guys yeah. are no longer in the library. Uh, yeah, we knew that was. Wait, before he does it, I just want to be like, "You're amazing. Thank you so much." Okay. <laughs> Can I have your autograph? <laughs> that's first a little star shark. Alright, that's where we're gonna end. Because, duh. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. You, bartender. Job, job? Job, job? <laughs> Is that good? Job, job. Good. How long would it have taken for the dragon to get annoyed?